Hello again. Well, this is just a, a quickie, really, for um, Rook Knight. Now, Rook Knight and I uh, had a bit of a conversation on his channel. He um, he bought himself a, a, um, a leashy, um, a rip-off one, I expect, off um, eBay. And he um, and it wasn't working properly, and he repaired it, and, and he was showing it on his channel. Excellent. It was about $30. And I uh, just want to go back a tiny bit and say... Um, I was first inspired by these leashes when when um, Chris Capoon started um, using uh, um, the Yale one that he got from UK Lockpickers. Now then, I have a feeling that he got sent that by Roy Salmons. I don't know whether that's right. I don't know whether I'm right saying that, but I don't know. I just had that in my mind. So, um, and I and I at that time I wanted to make one and 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 yeah I thought of making one out of the key you know there's a key and um, you could you know you could imagine sort of making um, sort of filing all this off and and having it so it slides up and down and everything there's a little bit of meat on there it's possible um, it is possible however however um, I decided to do something different and I said to Rook that I was going to try and make a, a, a leashy style pick and um you know and and i'm i've decided i'm not going to use a key i haven't if you've got an american key american lock key that you want to send me i haven't got very many i've only got two american locks um, um everything else has been given away um i had more <laughs> but i haven't any more and um you know uh so i've got i've got three keys i don't want to get rid of one of those anyway that's another story this is a pick that i made when i first started lock picking and i etched on some little marks on here and so i think a leashy in my mind isn't any different from from that you've got some marks you can place them on on where on where the um you know the pins are right so rook I'm talking a bit quick here for my brain. This is the um this is what I've got. Now this comes from a computer and it's um so that's why you've got these holes in it and um and it's part of the draw mechanism that you'd put in a sort of like a CD player or something. You know, they slide in and out, don't they? Well, that's what this is. And um and it's made of probably it's made out of um a sort of a mild steel type thing. It moves, it does bend a little bit, but it's it's fairly strong. This little piece here is angled and that's where and that slips into there like so. So there's your leashy style starting. And what I'm going to do is I've got a feeler gauge. This is 10 thou. Um, I spoke to um, Brett um, and he said that um, he's got a leashy and it's a, it's about 10 thou. I've got another one. I've got loads of these and um, I've got some 8 thou and I've got... Um, some bigger ones as well so i'll start off with the the size that the actual leashy is and um i've i don't know if you can see that but i have marked it out you probably can't see it. i've marked some of it out anyway i haven't got it quite right yet um i'm just practicing thinking and then that will fit in here um does it fit in it will it will fit in actually it's, it's a bit thick at the moment uh, I'll have to jiggle it up and down to make it work. I don't want to do that. And I'm going to sort of make it, I'm not going to make it um, like this. But you can see that, you know, this is a, a sort of a, this is quite narrow. That's going to be a little bit wider. But the top of this, the height of this is going to be not much more than that. And I don't know whether that slides in there, actually. Yeah, it does. But anyway, what will happen is then is that I have to mark out the key like that and um and then put it in so that wobbles up and down and it also pulls backwards and forwards so there we go obviously i'm going to use that hole as a sort of a little something to hold it and i'm going to put a little something over the top of here i've got some litho plate up over there and i can mark all the little indentations on that so there we go Woo! that's it folks <laughs> I'm going to make another video in a couple of weeks' time, and with a bit of luck, it should be finished. See you around, guys. Nice to see you.